Oh, yeah. <laughs> no one says. I wish my shirt had a storm. No, I'm kidding. I don't. But I like his shirt. It's very exciting. All right, we're ready. Somebody there? Hello. Ghost. Benton Ghost. It's okay. I wonder if the Benton Ghost will move with us to the new building. What would be the Benton Ghost? Packets, ghost bags, and come on over. Here we go. I think you jumped in, Bryson. This will give her just a chance to start at the beginning again. That's okay. Seriously, they, you know, publishing-wise, why didn't they put a reduction? Because they're silly. And look, look how they notated it, too. It's all eight notes. They have to do it for this one. Just single. Well, they, you know why they do that. That's what it's so long. Yeah, so in vocal music, they bar things according to to syllables. I think it's very stupid, actually. Yeah. It's a bad use of, the, and they slur by syllables, yeah. which wastes a perfectly right. good articulative marking yeah. on words. But never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> Go to the multimeter place and try that one more time. Yeah, I messed up one time. So more than anything today, I want to give you uh, a chance to, and in in, in on Wednesday, a chance to conduct multimeter in front of people. I mean, there's no way to get good at it except, except to do it. If you uh, take the spring class next year as, as second year people, I'll let you conduct the Benjamin Britten Rejoice in the Lamb, mm. okay. which is infinitely more difficult than this. I've conducted it three times. I've never done it right. In performance, I'm sure somewhere in some rehearsal I have. But. Okay, um, let's do the second system, second measure of page three. Is that, that's just right. Yeah. Now the king? Uh, dancing. Oh, no. Nope. Okay, fine. Because that, that starts everybody on their little seat. That's a good idea. Uh, you know, I, on the five four, I treat like I treat like a fermata because I hate I hate to conduct through held notes because it encourages people to, in some ways, pulse when what we really want to do is hold the note, but it's not a big deal. Okay. Like if you like it metered, go back to the same spot one more time. Okay. One, two, Go! 
good. Yay! One, two, three. That was very clear, wasn't that clear? Going from the 2-4 to the 6-8 to the 5-8 is really the key sort of instructional moment for us right now. Technically wise. And Danica loves this piece. I'm so thrilled you like it. Honestly, I'm so I was in tears for a second. I know how much you love it. Move the tears. This is not my least favorite thing. Okay. These are a few of my least favorite things. We should write that song. That would be funny. I'm not a little faltering. I know. You'd be great. Speaking of the green cross, walking upon 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 the green cross. back to the same spot that we had longer back and let's do that multimeter one more time. I'd like to give everybody at least two chances to be able to experience that in front of people. Let's make it a little harder on Danica. Um, so what's the dynamic marking when we start the, um, what is the dynamic marking when we get into the, the multimeter section? There's nothing, uh, forte. Right, so it's forte, it's mezzo forte, bouncy from the beginning, right? Yeah. So what happens then at and kisser? And kisser is a mezzo piano. So we go to a forte to a mezzo piano, so that qualifies probably uh, without a day crescendo, so that will qualify as a, a, a subito, right? Mm -hmm. uh, even though it's not piano. And then the forte on no, take him. So she's being a little aggressive uh, right there. So can you conduct these dynamics? Yeah. I made up my own and now the king, so I'll do the right one this time. Oh, well, what, what dynamics did I you, did did you mark in? I did not see the forte marking. Oh, that's okay. Well, so I made it up on the spot. Right, and I know that everyone was worried about the multimeter. What is the forte? It's the bottom of the soprano one. Because this is the soprano one, I'll tell you the forte literally the entire time, I'm pretty sure. So, <laughs> so what, what happens is the basses and tenors at the beginning start off mezzo, mezzo forte, but then they drop down to mezzo piano in the background, and then it's a pretty big sound in the. So, and there's no change mark, so we assume that the bottom of page three in the multimeter section that it's still that it's all forte. Yeah. Okay. So I'm dancing with the hands on the bow. Thank you. 
is in, right. So what's your dynamic marking? You're fortissimo. So, so you're, you're being super testosterone-y, adolescent, too excited, 16-year-olds right there, and you're like, walking on the green. And we've all seen when this age just can't quite manage to act appropriate around each other. I'm talking about kissing. All right, they're they're pretty excited, <laughs> and so and so walking in the green grass. We're walking, baby. Yes. So I, um, I I think the piece is very fun from that perspective. On that, it's playing out this super awkward sixteen-year-old drama um, of kids. All right, and one, two, three. Thank you, Danica. Good night. Is it me? It's Lolita. You guys are like well, bass players in the jazz player. band. They need like three stands to put their score on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I don't want to be flipping it. You know, it, yeah. Usually in a conducting class, there's always one person who does that and then insists on throwing pieces of music on the floor when after they've conducted. That might be mine. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, well, that doesn't help for the continued rehearsal when you're picking up your music. <laughs> it's the effect. It happens all the time. So when too super... Involved. Just kidding. Walking on the green grass. 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 section again. Let's go to that same spot that Danica and Laura went to. I think that's a smart thing. Middle of page three. See if you can get a get a mezzo piano. So let's think about what that has to has to happen. We hold the note, and you did the stop. I like the stop. It's not marked in the music, but it's okay. We go. So we have to avoid the upbeat. And kiss her. And kiss her. One, two, three. And kiss her. One, two, three. Right? Yeah. So what do we where do we start? Uh, can we just start at the two four section? Uh, the now the king upon the green yeah. shall be chosen. Okay. Yes. <laughs> now the king upon the green shall choose a girl to be his queen. You know what? I thought that was really great. I'm actually surprised that we didn't do better for you right there. But I think if you had had breathed, had shown a breath, gone, oh, okay. You're right. that that might have been <laughs> because I thought it was pretty clear. But it could have been that the breath was the thing that because you sent two messages. 
One is you went like this, which was really good, but your face went. Right. So your face said no sing and your hand said sing. And so maybe we got that mixed message. Try again and all you have to do is go. Yep, just like that. Same thing, two, four. No. Ripping through this exercise, it's too easy. You should have had us do the rejoice of the lamb. It's, I think this is a great, this is also a piece you can do. The rejoice in the lamb is, is kind of a professional choir piece. Yeah, actually, it's pretty accessible. And even though Danica hates it, I, I think that it's something to talk to the kids about. It's, it's very, it, it models kind of an adolescent experience. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right. Well, um, I probably, uh, she's not here. It's so going to be fine. It, it'll be fine. Here you go. Money. All right. Laura's money. <laughs> <laughs> Laura's money. Yeah. I like this. Walking on the green grass, 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 changes really well. page four I want to teach you guys something that you could do on that kisser one two three so the problem that we face there is that people can jump the beat in the basses and tenors it's because it's a little awkward sing ba uh, excuse me tenors and altos can you guys sing at the kisser right there be natural sing the D sharp is here I'm at bottom of four <clears throat> here we go and uh, one and up uh. Excellent. You guys jumped the beat there. That's really great. We were at the second one work. I know. But you did it perfectly, even if it wasn't what you meant to do. Here we go. Bottom Seven. four, first mesh four. One, two, three, and. One, two, three. So, and what we can do is you can go and kiss her. 
one, two, three, just take out the second beat. And you eliminate any possibility that anyone's gonna sing in the rest. Here we go, two, and a. Kiss her, one, two, three. You understand? Kiss her, one, and then you give that upbeat and people will come in. Try that right on the kisser. Kisser, one, two, so not as much pulse okay. on the non-sung uh, um, beats. All right. Kisser, one, two, three. Yeah, and so what you did is just really basic conducting. <coughs> you conducted the rhythm, not the meter, right? And so if there's one thing that I can ask you to do as a conductor is don't conduct the meter. Conduct the rhythm. I mean, that's not as good as conducting the phrase. But it's a start because the because the rhythm is is related to the phrase. And one, two, three. Oh, that that wasn't good. One, two, three. And Kelsey's not gonna go today because I knew I was gonna teach it at the beginning, so Molly will be our last conductor. Yay. shot at the multimeter section no, starting the same spot awesome. you at that one spot then you kind of lost your way but I thought yeah. actually through the hardest part you did really really well yeah. it was like when you made it through the hard part didn't you? yeah I tried to do the thing that you focused you to do oh well right and so you know when, when you're doing it I mean all you have to do when you do your conducting is what you prepared okay right and I don't expect you to incorporate I mean a I use this time to teach but if you change what you conduct then you sort of Maybe hurt yourself a little bit. Right. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, same place that Laura started. And everyone else started. <laughs> <laughs> What I, what I want you, everybody have a seat so you can uh, have, have a seat. So I think your multimeter conducting is pretty clear. You are moving your shoulders a little bit. Oh, yeah. And so it's like taking away from it. So, it, so I think you're going, so, so sometimes you'll kind of go like this, oh, yeah. and then it makes it hard to see. So what I want you to do, and I'm going to give people, because we may go over this a few times, is, is just pretend that your body is not conducting, <laughs> just your hand, okay. which is disembodied, you can like watch it, it's going, and you're like, oh, it's waving. It's, it, but it's unconnected right. to you, right? Okay. And you are a detached observer. Just start right at that 2-4. Two four. The two four. And just move your arm to the rhythm. Yeah, don't, don't conduct in a way that makes us sing the rhythm. Just move your hand to the rhythm. Okay. So now the king upon the priest. Yeah. Okay. One more time. Just uh, breathe with us, and then we'll come in. Now the king upon the beach shall choose a girl to be his queen. La 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 la. Be the love he's trying to be. All right. So 
itself amazingly easier to follow. Yay. Was it easier to conduct? No. It was so weird. Yeah? I don't know. I felt like I was just kind of like uh, rossing it up again. Like, I, I do think I do think that uh, and those of you who have done the Alexander Technique classes, maybe this will resonate with you. We we connect caring with tension. Mm -hmm. Like we've learned over our life that we, we show that we are we care or that we're serious or we want people to do well by how we show tension. And and uh, and so I would I would love for people to think about it a little bit differently and say, I'm going to let you be awesome. I'm just gonna let you be awesome, right? Okay. And I'm not gonna do a lot because you are awesome. I don't have to make you be awesome. Right. And we're already awesome, but we just need some information so that we can okay. have permission. And I think Kimber showed this a little bit when when she did that transition on her piece a couple weeks ago from to just going uh, like this. And so she showed us like a hundred times less messages and we sang more musically. Right. So what does that mean? Leave it to the students. Well, uh, first of all, we, show, we think we care when we show tension. Mm -hmm. Meaning she, she was confusing musical messages with tension. <clears throat> and number two is when people are given tension, they cannot respond musically. They have to fight, they have to ignore, they have to look away, they have, you know what I'm saying? It creates all sorts of, so just even put it a little bit lower, go one, two, one, two, three, nine, okay. ping, da, pong, dee, dee. Am I coming up too high on the? Yeah, a little bit, okay. but not a big deal. Okay. You're doing great. Now the king upon the green shall choose the crown to be. Can you do it? Yeah. <laughs> and, and look up with the bemused amusement, like, oh, uh, I wonder how they'll do. Okay. So, you know, one of the messages we, we, yeah. we send in conducting is that it's your problem, right? I mean, like, our conducting, we're responsible. But sometimes we need to say, uh, I, I give you permission to be wonderful. <coughs> and it is, in the end, your responsibility. But you're not responsible to do everything for everyone. You're going to allow us to be great. So look up and go one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Cool. It's, so it's two, four, six, eight. Yeah. Five, eight. Five, eight. Two, six, eight. Six, eight. Yeah. I'll glance maybe? Is that Yeah. Right? Well, of course you can always okay. glance. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Double down. Now the king of all the three shall choose a girl. Isn't that great? So, I mean, it's, a, it, it, it's another lesson for us. And the, the other lesson, of course, is that, you know, if, if we don't show clean messages, people can't sing. And so we are responsible. But sometimes we just need to let go. Right. And we have to say, I mean, because look, look who you have singing for you in this room. I mean, all these incredible musicians. And Bryson at the piano. And, oh, yeah. And, uh, Power to you. Right? And, and and remembering that sometimes we just have to let go and let and let people be awesome. The the number in some ways some, the most number one thing we can do is get people to care, mm -hmm. right? And the most dangerous thing is when people decide they don't care, right? Because <laughs> uh, then it's it's very difficult no matter how talented yes. they are. All right, and one, two, three. Well, we don't have enough time for five minutes. We'll do it next time. This allows me to talk about your uh, few minutes on your. Uh, um. So so far, Danica has shown me a piece. So we need to be spending the week taking care of that, right? And so you either need to send me a copy of it, or and I'm happy to make copies if you send me a scan. If you don't send me uh, a scan or give me the music, then I can't make copies for you. You have to do it. So think ahead. Remember that 50 to 90% of conducting is organization, right? Getting music in your singer's hands, planning the rehearsal, making sure everyone knows when to be there, planning to have an accompanist if that's what you're doing. Uh, so that's part of this, is organizing. So your lack of organization can hurt your score. Yes, Danica, no. Oh, no, no. You're just thinking. Yes, Donnie. I don't know. 
I don't remember which one. You sent me lots of emails, Donnie. Yeah. Which one do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, Tom didn't even. Did, did, you, <laughs> did, did you send me a piece? I sent you a piece, yeah. Okay, good. And I, 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 I sent you for your CC or something. What was the name of it? SLC. Oh, you know what? I was thinking about that. I'm worried it's too hard. What? Really? <laughs> I think we can do it. Yeah. We, we, we done it's in Spanish. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. And everybody probably has a high test of turn for Sopranos. Uh, Johnny. It's 8 a.m. Do you guys know this song? No, this is going to be at night. No. No, I still have to speak No, I don't know that song. You will when you hear it. I actually think it's probably okay. Okay. But I do think it's borderline. You've got several things going on. One, it's very sustained and slow. Number two, it is it tends to have some high test of tourists for all the parts, and number three, it's you know it's in a lesser known language, not Spanish. That's not that's no, it's not that people do anti Spanish, but it's lesser known than English and Latin. It was short and it, it had is more short. parts, and that's why it was long. Is there a Divisi? Is there a Divisi? Oh no, no. I thought there was some Divisi. I think it's. I don't think it's. But a Divisi is another thing you look for. Remember when. When you give your students more parts, they don't do as well. Not rocket science there, but, but uh, we make this mistake all the time. How many shows are you going to do All of them. We can sell. Any questions? No. Oh, crap. One. Just one. Did you, say, did you say how much time we have to rehearse? Like seven minutes total. So if your piece is like five minutes or six minutes, I'd prefer for you to do a section of it. So that we can't, we don't just sing through it badly, and then you, you're done for the year. I, I I'd love to have you kind of. I mean, normally I approve. I mean, I I think we should sing all the way through pieces if you have people who can do it, so people get a feeling of what the music is. But this is not a real situation, and uh, I would prefer for you not to do longer than a two two and a half minute section, and a chance for you to go something and show a rehearsal, do some eye contact, make some music, give people a musical experience. And go, wow, what a great piece that is. Ideal. Yes? I'm going to go up to the library after this, so if you want to peruse, you can come with me. I have 10 minutes.